Rima, tell me a little bit about uh, the UAE. Um, well, everyone knows the UAE because of Dubai and Abu Dhabi. And uh, it's basically a country that has about 750 meter, um, kilometers of coastline along the Persian or the Arabian Gulf. And what kind of, what sharks live there? Uh, I've been able to identify 26 species of sharks now, so some of the more common ones, I guess, are the great hammerhead, the bull shark, the pig eyes, uh, black tips. So. Are, is there a large shark fishery in the UAE? It seems that there is, and it seems to be growing, that the fishermen are targeting sharks more and more. And you, me you mentioned in your talk that the UAE is a major shark finning export center. It is. From FAO statistics for the past 10 years, it seems that the UAE is ranked fifth in the world amongst uh, countries exporting dried fins to Hong Kong. And are all of those sharks, are all those fins from sharks that were caught in the UAE? No, it's serving as a regional hub, so countries from both the Arabian Gulf and Eastern Africa are actually bringing in either their sharks or dried fins or fresh fins to the UAE, getting them processed there and then exporting them. Uh, how are the shark populations of the UAE doing? We don't know. We have no baseline data. This is mainly why I'm doing my project, because we don't even know uh, which species are along the Gulf coastline of the UAE. We don't know uh, their distribution, their abundance. So there's a lot of information that's lacking. What kind of regulations are in place for people fishing for sharks in the UAE? There's one ministerial decree that was uh, from 2008, and basically what it stipulates is that they're not allowed to fish for whale sharks, they're not allowed to fish for sawfishes, but there's no real regulation for any other species of sharks. And what exactly does your project focus on? A variety of things, but mainly looking at uh, the shark fishery in the UAE, so looking at species comp composition, abundance, distribution. But I'm also trying to quantify the trade in shark fins, so the sharks that are being brought into the UAE and the fins. and um, what species they represent and uh, the quantity. And you mentioned that you do a lot of communication with some of these fishermen? I did. One part of the project was interviewing the fishermen. So I interviewed 126 Emirati fishermen uh, from across the country just to try and get a bit of a better idea of the type of gear that they use, um, if they've seen any declines in shark catches since they started fishing, uh, if they believe in shark conservation. Mm -hmm. And, and what, sort of, what sort of attitudes did you discover? Um, a lot of them don't think that sharks should be protected. They believe that sharks are an important animal in the ecosystem, but they also have this very strong religious, um, I guess, uh, cultural um, way of looking at things, and they believe that God will send them sharks again, even if they fish them out. And have they noticed a decline? They have. They've, uh, over 80% of the fishermen that I've actually interviewed noticed that there has been a decline in shark abundance, that there's a decline in their number of shark catches, and that there's also a decline in the sizes of the sharks that they're able to catch now. Great. Is there anything else you'd like to say about your own research or the sharks of the UAE? Or I just hope that I get, yeah, very good good data so that I can try and put together some sort of management conservation plan for sharks in the UAE and that that could actually be used as an example for the wider region so that more people actually come and, and do research in the area because it's right now it's a blank canvas, there's nothing, we don't know anything.